do we have a deesser in FL Studio? Uh, we don't have a plugin for deessing in FL Studio, but we can do something to have that. So let's go into FL Studio. And um, <clears throat> we, as you can see here in the plugins, in the dynamics, we don't have nothing for deessing. And uh, deesser is actually a dynamic plugin. So we, we, could, we could have an EQ to curve out the, the S and T's and all that um, uh, sibilance. But uh, we can also use something called a multiband compressor or Maximus, which is also a multiband compressor. So I will record, let me record to here something really quickly where I say something very, <clears throat> with a lot of S's and my voice has, ten has a tendency to have a lot of S's, a lot of sibilance. So let's do on play or actually on input and then I can record something. Test one, se, cell, cell, test, test. Okay, something like that should work. Okay, so now we can, sorry for if it doesn't sound that great, <laughs> but uh, let's see now, let's send this to channel two. Test one, se, cell, cell, test, test, test. As you can see, I'm, I'm forcing the S's so that we can have a good understanding. Another issue is that my 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 mic also has some processing and I have a deesser already in my my um my preamplifier so that, that also doesn't help. But uh, let's bring now let's work here with Maximus. And as you can see Maximums is a, a multiband compressor and we have here several bands. So let's go ahead and let's just uh, uh, let me see how can I let's mute all the other bands. Let's worry just on the high high band here. So let's listen to this. So we can see that already we are uh, just um, uh, working on single single frequencies and we could go actually a step further. Let's go here to the mid and let's mute the highs and now we can just even focus on just a single part here. And um, I would say S's or sibilance would be from five to maybe 10. Okay, we can tune this here. And now we can start adding some compression. So let's go here to the mids and let's, uh, let's start adding some compression. Okay, I would like to have a little bit more, more, um, how can I say, um, more gain in this one to see what are the, the, the values. Okay, this threshold doesn't work. Okay, and we could probably, uh, let me see, okay. Let's go to monitor here and we can see that we already are applying some compression here. We could go even lower. So we, we can see that we are actually applying here some compression and we can also bring down some of the volume here. Okay, maybe like that. So now we can go to the other ones and just set, put set, off set, or compress it off. Test, test, test one, okay. set, sell, sell. Let's test, see the before and after. Test, test one, set, sell, sell, test. Okay, let's maybe focus on this part here, which I think has the most. Sell, test, test, sell, test, test. Cell test test. It's a very small difference, but you can hear, you can see that we are already reducing some of the sibilance of the um, of the, and we can actually see it here that we are reducing quite a lot, maybe around minus seven dBs here, minus nine. So we are reducing a lot of the sibilance. We can also bring down here the post. So cell test test cell test 
test, sell, test, test, sell, uh, test, I test. I think that should should give me less volume in the output, but it's not actually. I think probably it is. Let's see before and after again. Sell, test, test, sell, test, test. Again, this is just reducing some of the sibilance and this is how you can do with maximums. Let's go ahead now and use the other one, the multiband compressor, and let's see if we can achieve the same thing. So let's go, let's mute both the high and uh, the low bands and let's work here with the mid bands. <clears throat> let's go to this one and let's see, let's put this around five again, five or six K and this one at nine should be fine and then we can actually make this something like that so make them a little bit more uh, aligned okay so we are listening to just this uh, mid band now and we can now adjust this let's do a three to one a knee, we can put the knee at zero to have a strong knee. And uh, let's play with the attack here. Let's do a fast attack, slower release and gain here. We can, I think we are already reducing a lot of the sibilance. And now if we put test. this in bypass, sell, test, test, sell, test, test, sell, test, test. So we are just controlling the sibilance using this, um, <coughs> multi-band compressor i would i would go more with maximums because it gives us a little bit more control over here the sibilance and uh, of course there's also other ways to do this but i think these are the the quickest ways and actually if we go to maximums we have here a preset for the sing yeah we have we do have here a split band and a narrow band so as you can see we can always adjust these vol um, <laughs> ranges and this is pretty much how I had. So as you can see, comp off for low, mid on, the high comp off. The other one here, the split band, it just gives us two bands. So everything below above this frequency, which is 3.3, it will be compressed. And of course we can change this here. So I think that's it. It's a, a good way to, to have a deessing here in FL Studio, even though I would prefer to have um, I would prefer to have a specific plugin just to handle this, um, just a, a plugin called the ESSER, but um, yeah, you can do it basically with anything that uh, allows you to change bands and apply compression.